Congrats. discuss it here a little bit. So here's the question of the day, guys. For her third straight title fight at UFC 237, Rose Namajunas is the underdog against Jessica Andrade. Is she an underrated UFC champion? Yes or no, but please uh, elaborate. You go first, Dan. I'm going to go on a hot take here. Uh, I have a feeling that most of it's going to be yes and justified. I feel like she's been underrated plenty of times. But at the same time, if I'm being critical and I'm being fair, when you look at Ioana and Jacek, it's hard to say Ioana and Jacek didn't deserve that respect in the first match, obviously. And even in the rematch, uh, even though I actually picked Rose in the rematch, uh, I corrected course after seeing the first fight. Still, I didn't blame anybody for taking JJ in the rematch there. And if we're looking at Styles making fights, uh, you know, Jessica Andrade is, is, is a formidable force. Uh, the odds were close when she faced the aforementioned Ioana and Jacek. And I actually picked Andrade. I was wrong, but I actually picked Andrade to take the title from JJ. And, and JJ would hold the title and, of course, lose it to Rose. But stylistically, I can see that being a tough night. And I'm not saying that Rose isn't going to win. I'm not saying I'm not even going to pick her. I may, I, I may still end up picking her. I haven't gotten to that fight yet. But I'm going to go and, and be kind of a contrarian here, guys. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of yes. I'll say no. And I, I love Rose. I love her skill set. I love following her story. And I'm wishing her well. But if we're being critical, I, I don't feel like she was an underdog any time where she shouldn't have been, if that makes sense. All right. So you're saying no, she's not an underrated USC champion. No, I'm going to be contrarian here, and then I, gotcha. I think I stated why. All right, and by the way, those odds for that fight at UFC 237 in Brazil. Yes. The challenger is the favorite at minus 175. That's Jessica Andrade. Yes. And Rose comes back at plus 145. Goes, what, what are your thoughts? I think she is a little underrated. I, um, I think if you look at Andrade right now, her last two wins are over two fighters that beat, you know, they, 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 they beat Rose, so... I understand why that lines that way. Um, if you look at Rose's game, a lot of her finishes come from submissions. Jessica has been submitted in the past. So I think it should be relatively close, but I think on the whole, people do kind of, I think maybe because they look back at that Carla Esparza loss and, and they just think that can happen again, but she's shored up a lot of things in her game. And um, her last win has been, you know, two wins over the girl that just beat Jessica. So. I'm going to say, yeah, I think she is underrated a little bit. Al Quinta, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think she's a little little underrated. I don't really know. I don't know how they do the the um, the odds on fights. I don't know how the, who. I would always, I, I've always kind of wanted them to interview somebody that is like the odds maker. Picks the odds. How do they come to these? It was the Wild West for a while, yeah. right? Yeah, well, they come to these well, odds? I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a sec. Yeah. But let's. Uh, we'll finish this. But I think she's she's just a little underrated. She's she's a great fighter. Uh, they weren't. No one gave her a lot. Of, I think after the first Joanna fight, yeah. that kind of opened people's eyes. So I don't know why the, the odds were. I don't know how how big they were uh, in the second one. But she's she's kind of like a little under the radar. But she, when she comes to fight, she's she just you can tell she loves to be in there and she enjoys it and she's. Uh, tremendous talent so I, I don't underestimate her ever do you guys feel like any of that has to do with her demeanor or her look because if you look sure. at some of the females that have been successful you look at cyborg right she's got that mean look ronda would have that scowl on her face yeah uh, but she doesn't really have that right she's kind of got that loving personality and, and even joanna she's up there in your in your grill right you think some of that has something to play with it i think so that's her fair. body type you know mm -hmm. it, it just looks like she's just prancing along you know what i mean we do the same with guys yeah yeah we do and I'd say she's very underrated. Uh, so it's a hell yeah, she's underrated. But I don't blame anyone for thinking that because I believe that the Joanna matchup is a, is a lot of the key to why she's champion right now and why she gets a lot of love. Look, she was awesome on the show. She was Thug Rose, maybe right. the next Ronda Rousey. But she was coming up against other gals that just kind of had a, a good uh, matchup versus Rose Namajunas. Sure. But against Joanna, she didn't succumb to any of the intimidation, any of the mind games. She went out there, and what she did do is polish up her boxing, and those straight punches got through. Second fight, I, I guess I was one of those that thought, you know, it, it would be uh, a lot closer. But I really think that uh, Jessica Andrade and a few of the other gals out there have the type of game, whereas if they can stay away from certain submissions, but they can get her down, could she be one of those, like like an Anthony Pettis, uh, you know, or some of those fighters that uh, they just take Carlos Condit. They get mm -hmm. taken down, take a lot of damage. They can't get the submission. That's it. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's kind of early to really, really assess all this, but I, I think she's very underrated. And here's another thing. Two, three days ago, we all sat here and said, well, who are the champs that are most likely in 2019 to not lose 
And we all said Jones and Habib and, and I think Amanda got thrown out there. And who was one of the first, we all said. And it's nothing against her. It's just there's some killers. After Jessica Andrade, you got Tatiana Suarez. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and that's that's a and Willie so, Zang. Willie yeah. Zang's yeah. another yeah. tough fighter. You know what I mean? She's got a rough road ahead of her. But if she can get past that, ooh, man. I mean, then I, I think now they'll be on a little bit of a downhill. All right. 981 votes came in. 73% said yes. 27% said no. So there you have it. There's our daily debate brought to you by the MMA Junkie Radio team and Raging Ally Quinta. Raging, not Raging. Raging Al. A lot of people thought you were Raging Al, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's always been Raging. Raging Al.